Well, today we've got a group of uh, Year 12 students from the National Youth Science Forum. I'm Scott and I'm a staff member for the National Youth Science Forum. Today here at CODEM we have Maxwell and Newton, which are two of our interest groups with the Science Forum. Ray is um, the source of all knowledge about dance. What we're doing as part of our Cotter Dam education program is taking these students from all around the country uh, that have come to Canberra and taking them through a presentation about building the Cotter Dam. This tower is what we use to actually extract the water through the dam. So it's got about uh, seven openings in it at uh, seven metre spacings. We basically can pick which level we want to draw the water from. These are the rock roots I'm talking about. One interesting thing to point out is um, we actually undertook fish research about five years before the dam started. And usually these days with large engineering projects, you've got to do that sort of environmental investigation and convince people that what you're doing isn't having a detri detrimental effect on the environment. Um, you said you had to like, look out for environmental things. Um, the dam has trees along the, um, like along the valley. Do you have to get rid of that before you start leveling up the water or do you just leave it there and it'll just go under the water? It's one of the things we're actually talking amongst Then we're going to take them down, down to the Cotter Dam Discovery Trail and take them along that beautiful trail and, and show them the actual construction taking place. Um, yeah, guys, you did fantastic in You'll only see part of it, you don't get to see all of it, but here, right now, have a look. See all the aggregates and the batch plant, the cat tower crane. All right, are we ready? Yeah. Okay, guys, uh, let's go. There's a truck waiting. You know, this whole area is a recreational area, so this is one of the trails that lead to the Within the whole National Youth Science Forum, we have 144 students from all across Australia and a couple from New Zealand who are interested in all ranges of science and and um, we're just showing them some real life applications where a degree in science can take them and, and show them some careers that they never thought of, open their eyes to universities and, and the world of science. Um, I'm Jared, I'm from the Sunshine Coast and um, I've come here today, I guess I'm really interested in the idea of this, like, this kind of engineering and uh, building things I guess. <laughs> is the old Cotter Dam. So that, that dam, the height of that dam wall is about uh, 26 metres, 30 metres high. And the new dam wall is going to be 120 metres in front so it's, of it. It's really, really interesting. I can really see myself being involved in a project like this one day. Hi, my name's Leah. I'm from Noosa in Queensland. And I guess what's really fascinating about um, any sort of engineering is just the amount of people which are involved in any project and just a great deal of thought that comes into it and especially environmental considerations in this day and age I had no idea it was this complicated. So we're increasing the reservoir from 4 gigalitres to uh, about uh, 80 gigalitres, 78 gigalitres so we're, we're increasing it by quite a lot and these are uh, the old valves so this is what what people used to open to valve to open to let water out. Hi, I'm Tom. I'm from Brisbane. Uh, I see myself as a chemical engineer or molecular biologist. I um, don't know much about building dams, uh, but it's still very interesting, uh, this whole tour, and I'm loving it, yeah. Hey, I'm Sean, and I'm from the isolated Perth. Um, I'm more interested in the, in the design aspect of the, whole, uh, of the whole dam, I guess. A lot of the process that you need to pay attention to when you are sort of allocating and designing a, uh, a dam like this. Hi, I'm Grazia from Adelaide. And um, what I'm impressed about this is just the thought that goes into it. Like, there's so many problems that you have to overcome, and 
you know, all these people working together, coming up with solutions to the problems. I, I think that's pretty impressive. I mean, this isn't really my thing. I'm actually thinking of chemical or telecommunications engineering, and it's quite different for me, but like the whole design aspect of it really impresses me. One thing I heard a student say to me was, it's the first time I've ever been able to talk about uh, quantum physics at the breakfast table. And so that, that's the sort of experience we're bringing in. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's a fantastic thing for the students and it's something they'll remember for the rest of their lives. Your presentation was also very informative. I'm sure it like stimulated minds here and um, you know, you guys are really inspiring. Oh, is in my hips. Oh, is in my lips.